The book being read today is called The Three Little Pigs and the Somewhat Bad Wolf by Mark Teague. The book's publishing company is Orchard Books, based out of New York, and the book's year of publication is 2013. The story is being read by Caitlin O'Rourke and begins as, There were once three little pigs. They lived on a farm, as most pigs do, and were happy, as most pigs are. Then one day, the farmer told them that he and his wife were moving to Florida. He paid the pigs for their good work and sent them on their way. Let's buy potato chips, said the first pig. Let's buy soda pop, said the second pig. Let's buy building supplies, said the third pig, who was altogether unpig-like. Reluctantly, the others agreed. The first pig decided to build a straw house. Since straw is cheap, he had plenty of money left over for potato chips. The second pig decided to build a stick house. Sticks are practically free, so we had lots of money left over for soda pop. The third pig decided to build a brick house. She spent all of her money on bricks and mortar, but the man at the hardware store gave her a sandwich. Soon, the straw house was finished. It was dusty and musty, but the first pig did not mind. He rocked in his hammock and ate potato chips. Soon after that, the stick house was done. It was small and there was no room for a bathtub, but the second pig did not mind. He took a mud bath and drank soda pop. Brick by brick, the third pig worked on her house. Sometimes the other pigs would come by to watch. They had a wonderful time. Finally, the brick house was finished. It was big, beautiful, and strong. The third pig was very happy. She filled a basket with vegetables from her garden. The next day, a wolf came to town. He was very hungry and somewhat bad. He went to a donut shop, but it was closed. He went to a hot dog stand, but it was locked. Finally, he went to a pizza parlor, but it, he wasn't allowed in. He was left in a very bad mood. Soon he came to a straw house. It smelled like a pig. I like pig, he said, but not in a friendly way. He banged on the door. Who is it? called the first pig. The wolf. Open up or I'll blow your house down. I think the door is stuck, said the pig. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. Can't believe that worked, he said. He had never blown down a house before. Quickly, the first pig got on his scooter and sped away. The wolf moved on, hungry but confident. He came to another house, this one built of sticks. Same piggy smell, he said. He knocked on the door. Who is it? called the second pig. Wolf, open up or I'll blow your house down. Trust me, he added. I've done it before. I think the door is jammed, said the pig. So the wolf took an enormous breath and he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. I'm amazed that works, he said. Meanwhile, pig number two got on his bike and rode away. The wolf was still hungry, very, very hungry. The hungry wolf came to a beautiful brick house. He noticed a familiar scooter and bicycle. The house reeked of pig. The somewhat bad wolf rang the doorbell. Who is it? called the pigs. The wolf! Open up or I'll blow this house down! Oh no, said the pigs, not now. We're watching our favorite show. The starving wolf took a humongous breath and he huffed and he puffed and he huff, huff, puffed and puff, huff, huffed and huffy, huffy, puff, huffed. After the huffing and puffing stopped, the third pig said, do you think he's still out there? The three pigs looked through the window and saw the wolf collapsed on the lawn. Look at the poor guy, said the first pig. He's exhausted. Maybe he needs some potato chips. The second pig added, and some soda pop. The three pigs revived the wolf with some smelling salts and invited him in. The somewhat bad wolf was embarrassed. I was so hungry, I could not think straight. Have a potato chip, said the first pig. Have a soda pop, said the second pig. Never mind all that stuff, said the third pig. Dinner is almost ready. Yay! Since their houses were wrecked, the first two pigs moved in with the third pig. 
My house, my rules, she said. She made them clean their rooms before they went out to play. The wolf stayed too, but there was no more huffing and no more puffing, and he was hardly ever bad again. The end.